For about six years now, these Boyd County Extension homemakers have been getting together at least once a week at the Boyd County Extension office to make mats like these of different colors, patterns, and designs. Barbara Preston, a longtime extension homemaker, discovered the idea in a magazine at her church and shared it with the other homemakers. The mats are made from grocery bags and uh, you cut them in strips, hook them together, and then make them just like a ball of yarn, but we call it plarn because it's plastic. It takes between five and 700 bags to make one mat, six feet long and three feet wide, standard size, with a handle where it can be rolled up and used to carry over the shoulder. The homemakers pour about 35 hours into making one mat. But for Barbara Preston, it is a labor of compassion. It's just something that touched my heart. Not only the homeless people, but the environment too, because this keeps um, the plastic from being put into the landfills. We're really helping more than just the homeless. We're spreading the service to our community. With the MAP project, the whole concept behind it was to help those that don't have uh, four walls, traditional four walls, uh, someplace warm and dry to sleep. Most of the homemakers are experienced crocheters, like Lana Plymel, who says the main difference in regular crocheting and this is the size of the needle because of the plastic bags. And you take it underneath and you hook it and it makes your loop. Another method is Amish or toothbrush weaving, creating a tighter weave. Everyone has a job from flattening the bags to cutting them into strips, tying them together, and rolling them into a ball. That was Vicki Dunn's job, who came to learn as a community volunteer. It was an opportunity for me to contribute to the community, and I think that the homeless, they stress me out. When I see them, I'm the person that's going to stop and give them money, um, and this is a better way of doing it. One of the groups that benefit from the mats made by the homemakers is located here at Central Park in Ashland, known as the Ministry Without Walls, that distribute those mats to the homeless who gather at this gazebo here at Central Park. Those who have received the mats say they provide warmth and keep moisture away, while allowing them to have a comfortable place to sleep. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.